Hello, all the people who aren't watching. Uh, I thought I'd make another video that will go completely unremarked in history and uh, do a list of book recommendations for real analysis and this uh, books I'm going to use to kind of make my own little lecture series on here. Uh, there's obviously countless books on real analysis, most of them excellent uh, in somebody's opinion. Uh, I've got five or six that I have used and you know have some experience with and I can only speak about those so I'll run down that list okay I'm not too long a video so let's get right to it um, first up real analysis by Royden okay so there's I know there's a lot of uh, editions of this and the most recent edition uh, added Fitzpatrick and I know some people didn't like that edition and thought the quality went downhill but uh, this is the only edition I've used um, and I thought it was good for an introduction to analysis. Um, I'm coming from the viewpoint of wanting to start with uh, measure and in particular abstract measure and in integration on abstract spaces things like that. So in that regard, uh, this is kind of at the bottom of my list because this book starts out uh, concerned only with Lebesgue measure and integration on uh, the real line RN, things like that. So it's very confined to um, R. Now it does in the later chapters kind of loop back to abstract measure spaces, things like that. But that's after, you know, quite, it's like more than halfway through the book. So I, I don't really like that in that regard, but um, I do think it's a good introduction if you need more of a uh, kind of concrete grounding, if you're not ready for that abstract stuff yet. Uh, it's just all about the real line. Um, so in that regard, I, I think it's a good introduction. And it's actually how I started learning uh, some measure theory before I kind of learned abstract some abstract measure stuff. So I felt once I got to abstracts, I was the abstract stuff, I, I felt more comfortable than I think other people did. Um, that being said, I don't think it's a big deal to skip the real introduction and go straight to abstract. And in fact, I think that might be better. Okay. So that's kind of why it's low down on my list. Um, Pros and cons, like I said, very real based, and then it goes, you know, does it waits quite a while to go into abstract measure. Um, it's got good real and uh, a bit of like functional analysis in there. It talks about LP spaces, things like that, and some other components of functional analysis. So uh, good, it's good, good, nice and nice introduction. Okay, so next one, real analysis by Stein and Shakarichi. Um, or Sharkarchi. Uh, I actually haven't used this one too much, so I'm kind of speaking out my ass here. Um, it seems to do the same thing as uh, Fitzpatrick and Royden, where it starts with uh, measure theory very much grounded in the real line and approaches it from that aspect and then kind of loops back to abstract measure later in the book. Um, I will say that I've used this you know this pair Stein and Shikarchi. Um they have this whole series as you can see from the the title at the top of the book Princeton Lectures and Analysis 3. They have this like four part series and analysis that covers like uh I think it's intro introduction to analysis, complex analysis, real analysis, and I think they have Fourier analysis. Well, I know they do. Um, that's what, when I used their, uh, that's the book I used. I used one of their books in the a Fourier analysis course, um, Transform Methods. So I like that. I think their writing style is good, um, very clear. And yeah, I, I like their, their work. So that's kind of why I'm recommending it. I, I think, um, I, I think they're, they have a good pair and, you know, anything, I guess, coming from Princeton, if you, transfer their reputation over is going to be good. Uh, next up is probably the biggest name in analysis decks, um, Rudin. So as if you're watching this, you probably know 
Uh, Walter Rudin has a few books that are considered classics. You know, there's Baby Rudin, uh, Principles of Mathematical Analysis, I believe is the actual name. And then there's this, which is, you know, I, I, I kind of get lost on which Rudin is which, which book. Uh, I would say this is Papa Rudin or Big Rudin. So this is kind of his, this is, I think of his, this as his second in the series of three. Um, so real and complex analysis. Uh, this is, again, a great book. Um, like I said, a classic. Uh, don't be, if you don't have much background in complex analysis, I wouldn't be intimidated by it because the first 10 chapters are strictly real analysis, kind of starting from uh, ground zero. And uh, then in chapter 10 or 11, he starts uh, complex analysis also kind of from square one. So I think it's good and it's it's different than the first two in that it starts a bit more abstract. Um, he does he doesn't really in the first chapter make a distinction between measure on real or complex spaces or just abstract spaces. He just defines it on a arbitrary set X. So I think so, which I think is great. Um, and then uh, Rudin goes into the real analysis, uh, excuse me, the, the functional analysis a bit more, not as much as his book on functional analysis, obviously, but uh, he does like Hilbert spaces, um, bit some basics of Hilbert spaces, uh, Bonnock space techniques, things like that. And uh, it's good. Um, all of these books have tons of exercises and real, this real and complex by analysis, uh, analysis by Rudin is great because since he's such a you know, classic and uh, it's been around for quite a while, all these books have been around for a while, except maybe Stein and Shikarchi. Uh, since this book's been around for so long, there's solutions, uh, kind of, I think, third party solution manuals out there, people have gone through and solved all the exercises. So that's a plus. All right, now getting to the stuff I really like. This is kind of in, in increasing order of what I like. Uh, fallen. So I just refer to these books by their author's names. Uh, Fallen's real analysis is awesome. Um, starts out, I would, I would say he does uh, more of the sigma algebra. He pays more attention to sigma algebras and the kind of foundations of measure, share, measure theory than um, Rudin does. Uh, so I'm coming from the viewpoint of probability. So we use uh, that, that kind of underpinning of measure theory a bit more than maybe in other applications. So in my opinion, Falland is better than Rudin. And uh, I think Falland is actually the most recommended book I've had from uh, people I respect mathematically. Uh, uh, several professors have uh, recommended Fallen to me for real analysis. So I checked it out and I agree. It's uh, kind of dense. It's, uh, you know, very, you know, quickly theorem proof, theorem proof. And then there's some exposition in there, but it is very dense. Um, but it's excellent if you can kind of get into the flow of it and parse it. It's really good. Um, so again, a lot of great exercises. Uh, he do, and Also, I like his coverage of the um, big theorems like monotone convergence theorem, Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem. I like them better in Fallen than in uh, Rudin. And uh, I like his, his pacing and his structure better than Rudin. He yeah, I, I feel like in Rudin, uh, excuse me, yeah, in, in Rudin, um, not necessarily things are out of order, but the I like the ordering of things in Fallen better. Okay, so maybe one of the downsides of Rudin and Fallen is that they are kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like there's, you know, a several different um, arrows and mathematical texts, there's kind of uh, pre-1900 kind of written very much in that uh, verbose uh, 
English academic style. And uh, then there's this, I feel like this kind of early to mid 20th century style where it's, it's very terse and very compact. And maybe some of this goes with the typesetting as well, that the typesetting technology has evolved. So those maybe are a bit harder to read the older they are, depending on the typesetting and the style of writing. And then I think a book, a good book kind of written in the most modern style as far as typesetting and exposition goes is um, this modern real analysis by Zemer. Uh, really good. Um, I actually discovered it when the, I didn't take the course, but one of the professors at my university who started teaching a course on real analysis after I kind of learned it. So he was teaching from this book and one of my friends showed it to me and I said, hey, this is actually, you know, I really like this book. I like its style. So this book is good if you're just interested in like measure theory and real analysis built on measure theory, you can basically skip to chapter four. The first three chapters are like, I know, chapter three is like topology and I forget one and two, but you can kind of skip into the fourth chapter if you're more just concerned with the measure theory and real analysis. Um, if you have good understanding of uh, kind of undergraduate level math uh, uh, analysis, or maybe begin if you have some grounding in uh, graduate level analysis and you just want to pick up some measure theory and so on skipped at chapter four. It's great. It um, does a nice thorough uh, coverage of the sigma algebras and the kind of underpinnings of measure theory. And uh, uh, it attacks it from a abstract setting, but also makes connections with the real line and the Lebesgue integral uh, on the real line. Um, so it's got a good uh, connection to, you know, more familiar topics. And like I said, it's written in that modern style, great um, typesetting, easy to read, uh, clear notation, good exposition. It does some good comparisons with the Riemann integral that I like. Uh, and yeah, I like the, the order of topics. It kind of moves, moves uh, fluently from you know, measure theory to measurable functions to integration to uh, some differentiation and uh, LP spaces, and I think even ends up covering like some distributions and things like that. So, more it kind of flows nicely into some more functional analysis topics, too. So, really good. And uh, as I write, you know, produce these lecture videos, I think it would mostly be based around uh, Zemer and that kind of order of topics with some Falland mixed in and maybe even some Rudin. But I, I, I kind of really like the Zemer. So if you wanna read in any of those, I would suggest Falland and Zemer. Falland is like classic. You gotta, you gotta at least check out Falland. Um, I don't really care if <laughs> you let me know what you think. I, I don't expect anybody to watch these or anything. This is more for my own personal benefit, so. That is all.